right, uh, so we are changing gears, talking a little bit about frauds, and you may have gotten a phone call recently. Well, fraud, frauds keep continually targeting people, like senior citizens, asking them if they've missed their jury duty or there might be a war. Arrest. Now, joining us this morning to tell us how to avoid some of those scams is Detective Mark Kelly from the San Diego County Sheriff's Department. And good morning to you. All right, so jury duty and warrant scams. So they scare people, uh, but how are they doing this? Particularly, and how are they being? How are you? Like, how do I get targeted for something like this? Well, there may not be a real clear reason why you, in mm -hmm. particular, are targeted. Uh, I know that my daughter got a call. Neighbors on my street gets called. Uh, crooks tend to be very opportunistic. But the idea is that I'm going to give you a call. I'm going to give you a, a plausible problem. Maybe you miss jury duty. Maybe mm. you have unpaid parking tickets, <laughs> and there's a warrant for your arrest. And that's going to feed into the fear that most of us have of not really wanting. To to go to jail, sure. and if someone tells me I'm going to jail, it's going to create a fear response inside of me. Do you know how they get our numbers? You know what? Unfortunately, all of our information is out there. Mm -hmm. I can go online and probably get your phone number and my <laughs> phone number. So the issue really is not about how do I keep my phone number from getting out there, but rather how do I respond effectively when the call comes my so way. So what do they sound like when they call? Well, they're going to sound very official. Uh, and they're going to try to give you a plausible reason, like I mentioned. Most of us haven't stolen a car and aren't worried about that, but we may have overlooked jury duty, or we may think, oh, maybe I do have an unpaid parking ticket. And it doesn't have to be a serious crime, but just the threat of going to jail is enough to... Well, uh, maybe I do have a warrant out well, for my arrest. we can check that out. So. <laughs> yeah, okay, but you will never ask for money over the phone. Yeah, the Sheriff's Department is never going to call you and ask you for money. That's very important to keep in mind. It's also important to keep in mind that... Uh, Warrants are not resolved by phone. We don't mm -hmm. pay fines with uh, reloadable debit cards that you buy from CVS. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to go to court to resolve those issues. So if someone is calling you on the phone and asking for money for any reason, that needs to be a, a big red flag for you that uh, yeah. you're possibly being scammed. Uh, and then the jury duty, what does that sound like? Are they asking for money because you missed jury duty? And a fine as well. Well, again, we uh, we frequently get those notices in the mail. Jury duty again. Uh, how can that be? Uh, maybe we deferred it for one reason or another. Uh -huh. And again, it's just a, just a small excuse to sow a seed of doubt that maybe you missed something and maybe you're on the hook for uh, uh, you know missing a uh, jury summons that you uh, set aside. And, and okay, uh, so you get the phone call and you know it's a scammer. Now they're asking for money. What do you do? Just hang up. Uh, you know that's really the the easiest solution because as soon as you hang up the phone, that scammer has lost all of their power over you. And one of their first priorities is going to try to keep you on the phone as long as possible. And the longer they can keep you on the phone, the more likely it is that they're going to succeed. In fact, uh, there's been instances where folks have been on the phone for two, three, four hours with the scammer wow. while they're driving to CVS, buying reloadable cards, putting money on those cards, and then giving the scammer the numbers to, to get the money off of those cards. Now, now, you report it or not after this happens to you? Well, absolutely. You want to call your local law enforcement uh, and just let them know what the situation is. If you haven't uh, lost any money, then there may not be a crime report that's taken at that time. Uh, but it is important to at least let them know. But the other thing that I would really encourage folks to do is to think about uh, spreading the word uh, amongst your own network. Sure. Let your friends, let your family know, hey, listen, just FYI, I got this call. Be aware that uh, that, that folks and are calling. It's easy stuff. now today than ever with social media, Absolutely. Facebook, Twitter. We all have a distribution list. We all have a Facebook account, and we can just if once we spread the word, then people will know. Hey, I, I need to be on on alert that uh, right. these folks are out there. Well, thank you so much, Sheriff Kelly. We appreciate your time here with us this morning. Yeah, That's thanks for some having me. Good tips. So hopefully you don't get caught in one of these situations. All right.